Welcome to Jordan Valve Maintenance Videos. This is a Mark 78 disassembly and rebuild. These are the tools you will need. A socket wrench, a 3 quarter inch wrench, two half inch wrenches, a pair of pliers, a pick, a quarter inch hose nipple, and lubricant. You will also need an air regulator. These are the items included in your repair kit. A stem and plug, a seat, bonnet o-ring, seat o-ring, retainers, a spring, and packing. Begin by loosening the two half inch nuts. Take your pliers and loosen the packing nut. Use your 3 quarter inch wrench to remove the bonnet bolts. Once your four bonnet bolts are loose, lift the actuator and bonnet off the body and lay on the table. Next, unscrew the plug from the actuator. Then, remove the two jam nuts and the travel indicator. Now the plug will pull straight out. Now remove the packing nut. Using a pick, take out the packing. and the spring. Remove the compressor. Using the pick, remove the old bonnet o-ring, the cage, the old seat, and the old seat o-ring. You are now ready to rebuild your Mark 78. First, take the seat o-ring, put lubricant around the edges, and set it in. Make sure your o-ring is sitting flat on the bottom bore. Put in the seat, the cage, and compressor. Lubricate the bonnet o-ring and place it in the machined groove. And finally, the plug. Then we are going to take the bonnet actuator assembly and set it on top of the body. Now put in your bonnet bolts. Hand tighten the bolts until they touch the lock washer. Install the spring, retainer, the packing, and your packing nut. One important thing to remember is on your packing you have three different types. You have a bottom piece which will be flat on the bottom, five middle pieces that will stack on top of the bottom one, and you have a top piece which is flat on the top. Now we are going to put in our spring, retainer, bottom piece of packing with lubricant, 
Then the five middle pieces with lubricant. After your five middle pieces of packing are in, lubricate and insert the top piece, which has the flat side up, your retainer, and finally the packing nut. Be sure it's not too tight. You should still be able to move your stem up and down. Now on the stem, place a jam nut, travel indicator washer, and then our second jam nut. Bring the first jam nut down the stem. Travel indicator washer, and second jam nut. Using your wrenches, tighten both jam nuts together. Pull up on the plug and tighten into the actuator stem. Screw the air fitting into the top port of the actuator and connect the airline into your fitting. Note, never exceed 45 psi to the actuator otherwise internal damage can occur. Give it air pressure until the plug hits the seat. You will see the plug moving down. It should stop moving when you get to 15 psi. Now that the plug is touching the seat, tighten the four bonnet bolts. With your air remaining on, take the two half inch wrenches, loosen the two jam nuts, and bring the top one up until it touches the actuator stem. Snug it to the stem and do the same with the second jam nut. Using both wrenches, tighten it up all the way. Using a screwdriver, readjust your travel scale so that your indicator is right on the zero. Tighten it up. Take the air off. It should go back up to the full open position. Tighten up your packing nut until it stops. And then come back just a little turn. Do not over tighten them. Now your valve is complete. If you have any questions about this video, please email us or call us at the phone number listed on the screen. Also be sure to visit our website www.jordanval.com for more information. Thanks for watching.